Thank you for joining me for this edition of Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. It may look like we're out in the middle of the woods, and we are, in a way, but this is special ground. This, we are standing on one of the seven volcanic intrusions that are located within three miles outside of the Crater of Diamonds State Park. Back in 1992, 93, and 94, Texas Star core drilled this area for uh, looking for lamperite, uh, the diamond bearing ore. And after an extensive drill program, well, in that drill program, right off in this distant, uh, direction, about 200 feet, they core drilled down 1,000 feet in lamperite and never came to the end of it. They just stopped drilling because it was costing them $40 a foot to drill and they'd already sunk $40,000 on a hole in the ground so they stopped but that's the deepest hole ever core drilled in Lamperite in the state of Arkansas. After their extensive drill program they decided to do pit bulk sampling. In other words they dug trenches and hauled it up to their nearby diamond recovery plant and ran it through to see how many diamonds were in it. They did uh, 13 trenches. Many of them had no diamonds. Uh, one trench they did right over here had three diamonds in it, so they were encouraged. Then they moved over here to this spot, and you can see there's kind of a gully here now. The trees have grown back in, and so you wouldn't even know that there had been a, a big excavation here at that time. But um, they had their best trench sampling of all right here. They found six diamonds in one trench. In all, out of the 13 trenches, they found a total of 17 diamonds. So three in a trench right there. They moved over a little and found six in a trench right here. And then they decided to sample deeper in the same spot so they called that another trench and found an additional three diamonds. So right here where we're standing on this trench through here, they found nine of their 17 diamonds and three more right over there. So this was their best area and we are right near the Worthington Diamond Mine. Now this is not my property. I'm on the neighbor's property and we're going to work our way back over here see if we can get out of the woods because I'm in shorts and there's blackberry stickers and and uh, thorny vines in here but um, as we come to this clearing this used to be a forest and this is the Worthington diamond mine this is our property line uh, this indicates our property line and if you step right over here you see where I dug <laughs> this is the Worthington mine <coughs> the reason I selected this spot to start mining out of all these 10 acres is they found so many diamonds right on that side of the property line. So where would be the wisest place to dig? Right here. And this lamperite looks identical to the lamperite they found on their property as well. It's brown and sandy. And uh, I should expect to find just as many diamonds on this side of the property line as they found, except if I process more tonnage than they did in their pit bulk sampling, I should find more diamonds. All a matter of math. So I dug right next to the property line there and found lamperite, and we've processed this out of this area. There's kind of a hole here now. My wife says, that's dangerous. Somebody could walk over and fall right into this hole. So I'm gonna put a fence there. Here are the treated two befores I'm gonna cut and use for posts. And then I've got some uh, sheet metal and I'm gonna make a sheet metal fence here just so somebody doesn't wander off. There's nobody up here out in the woods wandering around, but we'll just be safe that way. Well, I wanna talk to you about our plans. So earlier this morning, it's late afternoon now and about a hundred and something degrees, but earlier my partner in grime, my 
neighbor, Mac, he's 80 years old, he came up with me and we talked about when we're done processing the ore that's already been excavated and stockpiled from this area and we're about done with it, then we'll come up here and, and how should we start digging? I thought, well, we could dig this off and pile it over there and he could come down this ramp with his skid steer and scoop it up. But as we talked, what I really want to mine first is this point out here. So, most likely, what Max suggested, and I like this idea, I'll set the Mini X up here, and I will reach over and grab this and then swing around and drop it right here on this flat top of Lamperite. Then he will come right down the driveway where my truck's parked now. Uh, we had that gravel hauled in for that drive just so it wouldn't be wouldn't get stuck when it's muddy. Anyway, he will bring his skid steer right down here and scoop Lamperite off the pad. So that's our plan, and we will start that before long. I'm going to get down here if I can. This, um, the Lamperite continues from here, way down through there. We, about one acre here, kind of a triangle. Our uh, corner post is over here. And when it was core drilled there, we've got over 300 feet of lamperite. But um, I'm not going to go that deep. We're going to grab this stuff that's real easy near the surface here. There's more overburden over there, like 12 feet, where here I've got it exposed. I've already got the overburden removed. So let me risk life and limb and step down here a minute. <clears throat> and you can get a different angle on this deposit. So here is outside the volcanic intrusion. This is just the clay that was here before the volcano. This is the contact zone. This stuff on the left here, that is volcanic. Uh, so it, picture a funnel shape and it blew up here and this is the edge of it. So we don't want anything on the right and we do want this stuff on the left. I left some lamp right there because it's hard and weather resistant and I didn't want a bunch of this clay and mud washing down into our mine area. So we plan to set up here and scoop this and I'll flip it around behind me. If you'll notice we've got just a little bit of gravel. So let me explain the way this was. Originally we had three or four feet of clay overburden laying that had washed in and was laying on top of the lamperite. And then we had one to two inches of gravel. This is considered a Tokyo gravel or a, the Tokyo formation. But this is just chert, novoculite, jasper, cryptocrystalline quartz, a very thin layer laying on top here. We will take that. We will process it. There could be diamonds in among it, but basically it sits on top of the volcanic intrusion and washed in on top of it after the volcanic material cooled. At the top of the lamperite you'll see this black and that is probably limonite gothite which is iron and manganese that leached in here when there was a shallow sea. That's how the gravel got here, a shallow sea deposited it. Uh, they're rounded off because of the tidal action of the sea. Uh, now this is just solid lamperite right here and it's hard and we'll uh, scoop it up. Hopefully the Mini X will be able to dig it and we'll turn it around and set it there and scoop it up. This is all lamperite in here. Oh, I remember Mac pointed out something I wanted to show you up here that I thought was interesting. <laughs> Not so much on the topic of diamonds but just wildlife so he said and he was observant I probably walked right over it and forgot he said right here where you can see this dust disturbed that's where a turkey has come in here and dusted itself uh, they they lay down and fluff their wings and get dust all over them and it gets rid of bugs and mites that might be aggravating the turkey so they did it here in this spot and here in this spot, 
and here in this spot as well. So it might be one turkey, it might be three turkeys. But anyway, popular spot for a turkey to dust himself, which is kind of cool. Um, there are these rounded spots here on the top of the lamperite, and I would love to say that's a dinosaur track, but I, I think that's a stretch. Uh, you know, and then the dinosaur walk through here. Here's another track. There's a, a well-rounded track and another and another and another, but I don't really think so. I believe the lamperite was a hard deposit sitting here, and that's just you know, just a little indention in the hard uh, lamperite and beach gravels settled in here. Anyway, I'm pretty excited. This has sat here undisturbed for a while. You know, we removed the overburden a uh, long time ago, almost two years. Removed the overburden and this has sat out here and weathered. And while we uh, dug and processed this material, we had stockpiled it. I did not process much last year because I had an injury to my heel and couldn't work but unless I get hurt again we're uh, coming in here soon and going to dig this up and process right out here in the wild at the diamond mine we're about a thousand feet from the diamond recovery plant so instead of like before I had a rented a uh, excavator a large size track hoe and I dug, I sat here and I dug the material and I loaded it into a dump truck that was sitting here and we hauled it. I have videos of that. We hauled it and stockpiled it up near the diamond recovery plant. I think what we're going to do now, instead of handling it twice, I will simply dig it here and turn around and pile it. Mac will come with his mini, uh, excuse me, his skid steer, scoop it up and come and feed it right into the plant. And uh, that way we won't get it contaminated with sticks and leaves and things that have been causing me some problems. So anyhow, we're going to feed right from the Worthington Diamond Mine. And this deposit uh, continues underground right over there to the rich deposits that were discovered in 94 when they did the pit bulk sampling. As I said, one trench had three diamonds, another had six, and right below it, three more. So... 9, 10, 11, 12 of the 17 diamonds were found just across the property line. So this is hot material. This is what we want to run and uh, looking forward to it. It won't be long now and we'll be back up here running, running straight out of the mine. So thank you for joining me on this hot August afternoon at the Worthington Diamond Mine, just a short distance outside of the famous Crater of Diamonds State Park.